Greetings, gamer girls. I'm Celestine, also known as Clone Clock Sand, and then welcome back more, uh, to some more uh, Minecraft Games of Luck. Now, um, I know it's technically it's actually technically not Sunday when I'm filming this. It's in fact it's actually Wednesday, but I got the episode of Happy Wheels Wednesday up. But I don't know. I just love this concept so much that I wanted to do more. I wanted to actually, in fact, I wanted to fight most of the vanilla bosses or just powerful vanilla mobs. So I figured, yeah. But we're going to be using only yellow lucky blocks for those, um, uh, for those, um, uh, for, uh, those. But for some, for, like, modded, uh, bombs, maybe we'll use, like, the blue, red, uh, green, white, yeah, stuff, yeah, just different color lucky blocks. So, also, I'm going to hit this, be this part of the tree, because, um, I don't know, I'm just going to give myself night vision, so if it gets dark, then I can, then I won't be, I don't know. But, you can see we got waypoints now. We have Spawn Island. Um, hold up. This is supposed to be dark red. <clears throat> we have... I didn't die. We have Spawn Island. Nick's Desert. Hey, hey Nick, how's it going? Buy something, will ya? Okay, I'll do that later. Just um, And we have the Lucky Arena. Now, some people actually said that the Lucky Arena was a little bit too small, so, because, you know, um, like with the Iron Golem fight. So, I instead, instead of using one block, I made a 4x4 four four pattern with every, with every pixel, I guess, making the, making it bigger. So, now the Lucky Arena is bigger, and also, I just realized I'm in creative mode. <laughs> um, um, and, and also, uh, I used the, I used, uh, wool as the, like, yellow part of it, but I also used quartz for white and coal for, for black. Instead, today I used actual wool because, I, I don't know, I, I wanted to mix things up a bit, but I'm thinking maybe it, like, kind of makes it look a little strange, a little weird, but, anyways, back to Spawn Island with us, we're gonna start the games. So, so in this ender chest we have a crafting table, you know, ten golden carrots, an iron pickaxe, a backpack, so, you know, we, a big backpack, so we won't have, I have the backpacks mod installed, so, uh, so I won't have to, like, um, uh, run around and find a chest. Well, even then, I put a lot of chests around anyway, so, we have five super lucky blocks, five unlucky blocks, and twenty lucky blocks. Um, so, yeah, um, oh, I... Now let's hold, head on the next desert. Okay, listen. I promise I will not do that the, uh, in that order. I will always do Nick first from now on. Uh, since Nick's over there, let's go in this stand. So with Nick, we can trade him five iron for a stick, which I know sounds like a bad deal, but there are times where you don't you don't get a weapon. So, um, and it's also for five gold for ten pumpkin pies at, at this time. Before it was five, but now it's uh, now it's ten. Five diamonds for a lucky block. Nine diamonds for an enchanted golden apple. And a block of diamond for an enchantment table, and oh, and also in case we you know don't have very many uh, very many diamonds but have a lot of emeralds, we can also trade um emeralds for diamonds. And sometimes with the uh, with the custom villager trades mod, it kind of bugs it, it sometimes bugs out. So I put all the bunch of all the stuff in here in case it does bug out. But anyways, um, the rules are going to be down in the description, and they were also in the uh, they're also in the. Uh, they're also in the uh, first episode, except uh, the first one rule didn't apply, and because I don't know, I wouldn't. Well, the first rule is not to go into creative, but it didn't uh, at any time. But I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> let's just start. Let's just start the challenge. Um, what are we gonna get out of the first super lucky block? Obsidian. <laughs> um, okay, that's not really gonna help, but okay. Uh, what about the next one? Oh, um, oh yes, it's, it's annoying, it's this annoying to climb tower. Actually, I guess we can use the obsidian for this, why not? You know, save a little bit of time. So in total, I am such a nerd, this is ten blocks tall. Alright, next super lucky block. Also, if you're wondering what this glass is here for, it's just so I don't, you know, like, fall down here. Uh, if you're wondering what's with all the ender chests around, it's just in case, you know, I'm right next to one that could store useless junk in them. 
Uh, I also placed an ender chest down there, so it would be impractical to get unless, like, something blew it up or something. But just for fun, let's open up the next one here. Okay. Ooh, we got diamond tools. Okay, um, screw the gold sword in case I'll end up, even though I like it a lot. And I guess just for kicks, I can show you guys the Easter egg that was in the last episode. If you if you didn't if you guys didn't find the the Easter egg in the last episode, well, this is the Easter egg. Um, this right here is the head of Player in Distress, who actually is in distress because he's stuck on the cactus. But yeah, Player in Distress is actually the creator of the Lucky Block mod, so shout out to him or her or them. I don't know. I'm diamonds and chickens. Um, I don't know why, but I always hope that these chickens blow up somehow. And what do we get? A lucky bow. A lucky bow. That's cool. Um. Okay, now for the normal lucky blocks. Uh, lucky fishing rod. Not gonna help. Oh, it's Bob. <laughs> hey, hey, how's it going? Let's see if we can... Does he have 96 health? Oh, yeah. I have the ore spawn mod installed. I mean, I... Why did I not, and then, I, like, I have War Spawn installed, but why did I not uninstall it? Okay, Bob, Bob's invincible, for now, at least. Actually, if I'm not careful, he'll probably go after Nick, so we should probably kill him. Because there is, because the rule is, if Nick disappears somehow, you can't, um, trade with him. Oh, wait, let's see if we can knock him into the cactus. Ow. Ow. Okay, you know what? We'll skip Bob for now. Um, what's the difficulty at? Okay, just making sure it's that hard. Um, I'm gonna stay away from the arena because if the arena blows up, that's not good. Oh, sweet arrows, so we can use the lucky bow. Because it does have infinity on it. Oh, it's Bob again. Oh, this, oh, this time he only has 20 health, so he's easier to take out this time. Where is he? He is... We're on Spawn Island, right? Okay, yeah, he's over there. I forgot I have waypoints so I can just go to my latest death. Actually, what's funny is, do you know it's actually very rare for zombies to spawn naturally with diamond armor? It's rare, but it can happen. In fact, I've actually seen it happen before. Like, I was just in a... In fact, I was doing a modded survival just for, you know, my own time in uh, 1.11.2, and I um, found, a, found a zombie with diamond armor on. Unfortunately, I think all it dropped was it's, it was a broken helmet, but I don't really remember. Okay. Freaking mod's bugging out again. Why can't I hit him? There you go. Jeez. It's like, it's the same issue I was having with the water dragon when I was playing Aura Spawn on my own. Okay. Oh, I was rotten flesh. And no, well, no, I don't have the rotten flesh to the leather mod installed. I don't think it's gonna help. It's like, even if it did help, I'd probably be cheating anyway. But I do have to. Oh wow. <laughs> what was the villager have to trade? Hey, come back here. At least they had um, wheat for emeralds. Is it always the same? I don't know if it's always the same. But... Oh wait, no, it's not. Okay, droppers. If I get gold, then. Oh, speak of the devil. I have the uncrafting table mod installed, but it's probably not going to come up use, because if we, if, to use the uncrafting table mod, we have to make an uncrafting table. Oh, actually, let, let's actually, um, use this. Okay. We got four emeralds out of that. That's cool. Uh, do I have the emerald mod installed? I don't know. Do I? I don't. Well, um, I meant to install the Emerald Nug because I figured the Aura Spawn stuff was a bit overpowered, but hello, it's Magma Queen. Magma Queen is joining us. Um, but we're just going to ignore her for now. Um, uh, what was I saying? Um, I actually forgot what I was saying. Oh, 
Um, okay, I guess we can die the backpack. Why not? <laughs> yeah, that's why the below the backpack is normal. In case I get die, then I can die if I want to. Oh, more droppers. Oh, yeah, I was saying, saying about the... Oh, my gosh. Um... Okay, it looks like we just got more gold stuff out of that. Oh yeah, I was saying about the uh, ore spawn stuff. I meant to install the... Wow. I meant to install the... Uh... Oh, more diamonds. I meant to install the... The... Um... I meant to install the Emerald mod, but I guess it kind of slipped my mind. I don't know, maybe I thought I already had it installed, but I don't know. Where Where's the block at? It's still up there, isn't it? Ah, here we go. I guess we'll have to use the ore spawn stuff because we don't really have anything else we can do with the... Uh, with the, um, uh, emeralds. Oh, like a pig. Um, if we get an enchantment table, I can kill you for experience. And we get another one of these towers. That's amazing. Alright, so now we have the last normal lucky block. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like we can make the unlucky blocks luckier, but what are we going to do? Um, let's grab the droppers. And TNT. And, pff, sure, let's blow it up just for kicks. Uh, is there anything I can use? <laughs> okay, now for the unlucky blocks, because with and knowing our luck, that what just happened here will probably happen to us. Oh, 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 uh, oh, no, 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 hold on, <laughs> teleport back to Spawn Island. Uh, get in the water. Um, looks like Magma Queen's gone. Oh, no, not again! <laughs> Okay, now let's break this. Oh, okay, this is not going to end well. Well, it wouldn't have. Oh man, look at that, a lava trap right after, two lava traps up one after another. Isn't that amazing? Um, I guess we'll put this here. Oh, um, water bucket. Okay, I'm not sure how much that's going to help. I guess we could put that in the arena, but the arena's made of wool, so... We could put the lava in the arena, but the arena's made of wool, so... Eh, let's do it. Why not? Alright, last... Alright, last one. Um, oh, Magma Queen is back. Well. Well, it looks like we are done. We did not do very well, as you can see. Um, I guess we'll go over to, uh, Nick and see, see if he can give us anything. Uh, should we get, should we get, um, an enchantment table or enchanted golden apples? I'm trying to think, I'm trying to consider my options here. Uh, let's see. We didn't get any gold, unfortunately. But we did get this diamond sword, that's cool. Let's see. Enchanted golden apple... Enchantment table. Enchanted golden apples. Enchantment table. Oh my gosh. Um. Huh? 
You know, this boss isn't very hard, so... I guess we'll get the enchantment table. Alrighty then. Um, gonna go ahead and make some armor here. Alright. Bam, bam, bam. And we got some armor. And we actually can enchant... I didn't mean to put it on, but... No, we actually can enchant it because we... I don't have any levels. Well. Looks like I should have gotten the enchanted golden apples. Did we get any... Oh, wait, let's go back to the pigs. Uh, we can get experience from those. Villagers don't give you an experience, so I won't kill them. Um, move out of the way so I don't hit you. Okay. Alright, we still only got, um... One, uh... We only got one... Uh, level out of that. Which is fine. Um... But if anything, I think I want to enchant the sword. Oh, wait. Oh, we can still enchant it? What? How did... I... Let's just get this smite. Oh, will that help? I don't even know if the mob is undead or not. I never actually checked. Um, I guess I'll do in the world of testing. Okay. All right. Let's just finish setting up. Let's put all this crap away. Where's the? There's. Um, put all this crap away. As much as I love the golden sword, the golden tools, and how they look, I don't think we can use them. Well, I mean, we can if we wanted to, but. I doubt this thing is going to break. And with that, actually, hold up. Let's, uh, let's make some more lucky block. Let's get some more lucky blocks. Um, like, yeah, we can trade, uh, emeralds for diamonds. Yeah, let's get some more lucky blocks, just cause, just cause why not. After all, why not is my favorite Pokemon, as you know. I don't know if you guys know, but why not, yeah, is my favorite Pokemon. Okay. Um. Oh. Well, let's see if we can enchant more stuff if we get uh, more levels out of this. Oh, jeez. If and by the way, in case you guys are wondering, I can't um use uh. I can't like kill the mobs around the area because if I did, that would be too um. If I did, that would be too um. That would be too cheap. I can only kill mobs that are um. That come out of the lucky blocks. Okay, we've got an extra level, so maybe we can enchant, like, the chest plate or something. Um, let's see what we get out of here. Oh! A rainbow in the box. Okay, then. Uh, let's go ahead and enchant the table. I mean, <laughs> enchant the table. You know, that should be something that... You know, that should be something, um... They add into the next, uh... Into the next... Oh, protection. Okay, good. Um... That should be something that they um, add into the next uh, version of the version of Lucky Block. Maybe next color that that's released. Uh, if any of you guys are are if any of you guys are Lucky Block developers, then um, if any of you guys are Lucky Block developers, then we then uh, okay, sorry. If any of you guys are lucky are Lucky Block developers, then Make a weapon with that with an enchantment table that has crap ton star of sharpness on it, and yeah. Okay, so it looks like we're ready for battle. Um, excuse me. Um, and in here we have the warm up round. Now you might notice there's only one spawn egg in here, but hold on a sec. Where's, where's the sound at? Oh wait. Okay, just make it. Yeah, there's no there's no warm up spawn. That's because we actually can only spawn this mob with the use of a command block. So, um, actually, what's that, what's that tonight? Oh, wait, hold on. Um, it's just so that, that like, um, these uh, enemies don't burn. Okay. And there we go. So it's like it's daytime. 
And here we go, warm up round. Oh, we got a villager, that's cool. We got smite on the sword, so works out well. And there we go. That was the warm up round. Now it's time for the real stuff. Oh frick, did I get any food? Oh I got the pork, I guess that'll that'll do for now. And it's time for, and now it's time for the time for the boss. Ready guys? Three, two, one, bam! Yes, we are going to be fighting the giant from uh, Vanilla Minecraft. The thing about the giant is the fact that they hits really freaking hard. And it's also quite fast. Like, despite how slow it looks like it's moving, it hits really freaking hard. Like, let it hit me if I can. Oh! Okay, that wasn't paying attention to the damage from the gears, but now two. Maybe I should, I think I should replace that with a lever, actually. Oh, shoot! Um, I think it was getting a little too close. Gonna try my best to stay in the arena. I don't exactly know if... I'm imagining this... How much damage does this do? Eight? Okay. I'm guessing the giants are not undead. Despite they, they have the same skin as zombies, I don't think they're undead. Okay, I know the rule says not to stay, to stay in survival at all times, but to make things easier, I'm going to replace the button with a, the button with a lever. Alright. Okay, just seeing what the difficulty was at. <laughs> These giants really wanna want a group hug, don't they? I'm actually surprised they're still they're like constantly chasing me because usually when I fight the giant it kinda just Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh no 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 no. The um the zit that the uh hold on a sec, can I place the lever on a uh, solid ground? I mean uh, like uh no. I I mean obviously I can place it on solid ground, but I mean can I place it like on a uh, Oh yes, yes, I can place it on a uh, uh floor. <laughs> See if we can snipe these from far, them from far away. Oh wait, I'm too far. I'm actually a bit too far away because they're not locking onto me. Okay, I'm gonna hold up the fire. Okay. Oh jeez. Okay, I was wondering if that was lag or not. Let's see how much experience we get from this. Okay, that was three, right? Actually, hold on. Okay, yeah. Just so we don't bump into it again, let's, uh, do that. Okay. One, two, three, four. Oh, jeez, they're coming fast. One's distracted. I, I, I know, man, I haven't taken any damage yet, but they're probably, like, on the verge of kicking me, so we gotta be careful. Man, this guy's still distracted. <laughs> See if we can round them all up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um, they're coming a little close now. Oh, I, okay. I thought I threw my sword for a second, but no. Oh, jeez. Oh, it's raining. Great. Hold on. Let me just move away so we can uh, clear the weather. So, it oh, actually... Yeah, why not? Let's keep the rain. Let's just turn the render distance down. Unfortunately, we're outside of the arena. All the way. Oh, this will give us some extra challenge. The, uh... Okay, no. We gotta clear the weather. Okay, I know it's probably not, not a good idea to, uh... 
do that in the middle of the battle, but hey, we did it, and we're alive. Alright, last one. Come at me, bro. Come at me, bro! I probably shouldn't, like, rush, run and jump at them, because if I do, they'll probably kill me. I'm gonna let- I'm actually gonna let it hit me and see how much it does. Oh, it does a whole freaking lot. Um... Alright. One, two, three, four, five. Oh my gosh. Maybe I should make that a little bit further, I don't know. Okay, one more hit is gonna kill us, so maybe we should try sniping them. Oh, wait, hold on, they're too far away. Okay, and with some of these larger numbers, they're probably going to sneak up on me, and, uh... Probably going to... Like, they're probably going to sneak up on me while I'm, like, attacking another one, and then... Yeah. After the episode's over, I'm actually going to test and see if these... If, uh, giants are actually undead or not. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, um, okay, this is gonna be a little bit brutal, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, I hope that was six, was that six? Uh, let's see, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, okay. Four, oh, why was I not sprinting? Okay, whatever. Hey, buddy. Hey, you. Pikachu. Oh, my God. They're pushing each other. They're pushing each other uh, ahead of each other so they can get me. Oh, break your freaking ankles, man. Oh, no. No, no, no. I probably was a bad time to eat. <laughs> um, what? Track the other one. Why is there just like one giant that's like <laughs> on the beaten path or off the beaten path? I don't freaking know. Let's just freaking take it down. They're actually coming up pretty close, so if I'm not careful, one of them's gonna hit me, and it's gonna take me down really far. I mean, look how I got full diamond armor on, and, like, if you look in the Minecraft wiki, you you will see exactly how much damage that these guys do to you, like, if you had no armor on. Um, if you look in the Minecraft wiki, you will see how much damage these guys actually do to you. Um, if, uh, I actually have some redstone over here, let me, uh... This is going to make this a little bit further, so... But yeah, um... You look on the Minecraft wiki, and you can see exactly, um... Um... Uh, how much damage giants actually do to you if you have no armor on. Uh, it's too far. Uh, one, two, three, four... Five, six, seven. 
Oh man, David Copperfield did it. And I got full diamond gear on, and these guys are just are doing a crap ton of damage to me. They're about to push me off the arena. Whoa! Oh my god, I can barely see anything. I noticed, man, we are... Oh, one hit me. One hit me. That's not good. I noticed, man, we are about three minutes into the video. Coming up fast. Maybe I should try using the bow. I don't know. I don't know what's safer! You know what? I'm actually gonna put the lava down. Go lava! I know it's probably gonna burn the arena, but whatever. If it saves us, then... Ah-ha-ha! But we just gotta make sure we don't jump into it. Okay. Um, how many now? Eight? Um... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> oh no, we lost. Well, you guys, um, Well, you guys, that was that. So the maximum we could we could have taken down was eight. Well, actually, so in total, like there were eight. Let me so There's three missing. So, uh, one, three, six, ten, fifteen, twenty-one, twenty-eight. So we so so we took down um, thirty-one giants in. In this for in this episode of the uh, of the games of luck, and I noticed the fire, uh, the lava is not burning down that wool. Wow, unrealistic much. But anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoy. Hope you guys enjoyed um, I, this episode of a uh, of the uh, Minecraft chat, the games of luck, and the ga the giants are glad that they could join us. So um, let 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 me know what my uh, what mobs do you guys want me to fight? And as always, remember to smile. You were the face of Colin Clarkson in the 9 Gaming. Goodbye.